How's it going everybody? It's Brave Cat here again with another video after two, almost three years. Um, <laughs> definitely a lot's happened, a lot's changed in my life. Um, I've really just been, you know, dealing with everything at, at my own pace. Uh, establishing a job and all, all that fun stuff, you know. But um, I really have been wanting to get back into it. And uh, I just want to give this a uh, you know, little fresh new experience here, maybe with some Valheim. Um, and I'll kind of talk about stuff along the way, but let's just go ahead and get right in. Um, as you can see, I played this game a bit before, but we are going to make a new character. It um, doesn't really matter. There's not too much customization to be had here. Um, it's all about just, you know, the Viking theme. Now this game, uh, when it came out and when I first initially played it, I mean it was pretty much everything like I kind of wanted in a survival sandbox. It's very intuitive and very balanced in a way and I like it, you know. Two. <laughs> we'll just be two. Now we'll go ahead, I have a few little worlds here but I'll make a new one and I have a seed. It's just Valhalla. I don't really know anything about it except for it has a good spawn. At least I'm hoping. And we'll just name it to Valhalla. We gotta get there. Now let's just begin. So anyway, yeah, this past couple years have been a bit rough, a bit challenging. I mean, especially with COVID, it's been a hell of a ride for all of us. Um, just all the other crap that <laughs> the world has been dealing with. Um, it's a lot. You know, I past, you know, three or four years since high school, I've, I've really just been absorbing a lot of information. And then not only that, but of course, learning more about myself and just uh, learning what I really want to do, you know. And looking back on these past couple years, working and going through COVID, um, I've definitely realized that this is what I want to do, you know, making videos, oh, pardon that, making videos was an absolute blast. I don't think there's anything else besides, you know, just being with friends and family that really give me as much joy and happiness as making videos do. It doesn't even matter how many views they get, it's just creative process and you know, gets a load off my chest some way or another, and that's, uh, I think really what I need right now. <laughs> so that's why I'm just jumping right into some Valheim. I think that's, oh, I think that'll be a pretty good little refresher to get back into it and just get some kind of thing going. Now about the Attack on Titan world, that is a whole nother story that I may have to cover later or just you know, it's on it's on the back burner. I still think about it, I still want to make that, but it just hasn't been very possible lately. But here we are in the Valheim. This game is like Minecraft, but it's like a lot of games. It's just us against the world, just being airdropped in by a bird. Here we are. Got nothing but the crows. Wow, what do we got? Um. Okay. Huggin. Hugin. I don't think I'm gonna need too much guidance. I already kind of know what I'm doing, so it'll make things go by pretty quick. Uh, right now, we just. Yeah, we have nothing, so we'll, we'll be building up our skills, collecting food and items and making tools and making a little starter shack. And here's these these stones. These are all the bosses. Very scary creatures. Uh, I've only fought the first two. Um, the third one was just too difficult to locate. And yeah, I mean, there's quite a bit to this game. It's like 
you know, there's some Dark Souls combat mixed with, you know, full building mechanics and sailing and hunting, fishing even. I mean, it, it just has a lot, you know. Take a look at our skills menu. We don't have much, but there's a ton of skills that we will eventually get. Even just jumping will be a skill. And we can quickly just start making things here. We need more stones, more wood. Yes, yes. So the way the food system works in this game, I, I actually do like it. it. It works well with the combat and just the general gameplay. Where you don't have hunger, it's just that eating food will boost your stats. The stamina, health, regen, you know, all that stuff. And it lasts a certain amount of time. It's actually pretty fair, I think. Especially for the higher quality food items. One food item can pretty much last you through a whole fight. If you're smart with it. But I really just like, you know, building, making cool stuff. I mean, you know me. <laughs> I'm already all about the building. Like, my first playthrough, I made quite a large... Um, structure I'll say. Um, I might be able to put a picture of it on screen maybe if I can remember how to edit videos that is. Alright so we got tons of stone. Um, get the most basic stuff here. The hammer is what lets us do everything pretty much. Um, we need more wood. Crafting and like you know durability they have durability, but uh, you can repair anything indefinitely So that's actually pretty nice And the way trees go down is ever so satisfying. Oh, oh look at that. I forgot. I almost forgot about that. Oh, yeah just the satisfaction of toppling trees like dominoes down a mountain that's one thing that I always loved. Holy shit, except for when it tries to kill you. Kill that guy. Or don't. Can you just, like, get out of here? I don't need that. Alright, we should try to find somewhere to make camp for the night, because it will get dark eventually, and... Well, things can get quite a bit spookier at night time, I'll just say that. Sometimes it's chill though, sometimes, you know, you got Odin by your side and you're just by the campfire. Sometimes, sometimes you will get attacked very badly. This is such an interesting spawn though. It's on a massive, like, hill. There's a lot of terrain features here. We got mushrooms, we might as well, like, get our stamina up a little bit, if anything. So we can actually explore. It's a nice little piggy. Uh, there's a good stealth system in this game as well. I mean, it's pretty much just like just Skyrim. I mean, you can't go wrong with Skyrim stealth mechanics, right? <laughs> Must have been my imagination. It's actually harder to sneak up on animals than you'd think. Yeah, I know. He already knows I'm here. And they're a little bit aggressive. Oh, this will be useful. So here's how we pretty much fully enter the Stone Age. We just gather a whole bunch of flint, be able to make some better stuff, and then once we get some more flint, we can really find a spot to make a shack. Maybe even our future base. And also this game just looks absolutely stunning. I didn't even have the graphics maxed out because my computer would probably melt, but I mean this game just looks stunning. And like the textures are just, I mean you can see the pixels, like you know, it's got that retro feel, but it all blends perfectly together. I mean look at that. Oh my god, it looks like real life. It's beautiful. Oh man, this I think is going to be the spot. Oh yeah. 
Now these stones here, it's like a kind of like a mass burial site for Vikings in the shape of a boat. And if you dig all this up, you'll find some treasure. So I suppose we'll do that at some point, but it's not really any rush on that. It's actually not not a whole lot you can get that you can't get from just dungeons and stuff. But this looks like the spot. Got everything we need here, so you know we'll just go right in here. Go ahead, set up a little workbench here, and then um, oop, now I don't want to sit down. Go ahead, set up a little fire. And the fire mechanics are kind of nice. I mean, the, the smoke is actually there. It, you, you have to have like a chimney. If you build it indoors, some kind of ventilation, it keeps sitting down. A little cooking spit. And, oh my god, I don't know why I keep pressing X. That is normally not an issue. Ah, oh, that's right, I forgot about that. And here's the building. We don't have any wood. We didn't actually chop any trees down. Or rather we did, we just didn't actually chop the wood <laughs> into something usable. Maybe we can get a little two for one special here. A little two for one special, perhaps? No? Alright, that should be enough wood. Just to get started here. Get some full panels here. I always like to make things like a little too perfect. So that. And then all you need is just any roof. You can get the lowest roof. It's all nice and snug and perfect. You can um, repair anything. Uh, eventually though when you have upgraded items you have to have an upgraded workbench in order to keep repairing those items at the same level of quality. Um, so let's see, what, what do we need? A hoe. And a flint axe. Knives can be pretty nice, especially if you want to do the stealthy route, you can get a lot of bonus damage. But I kind of like bows and swords and shields, and even some of the two handed weapons are a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, I guess having a couple torches is always handy. Now, now that we got that, um. This is how we upgrade our workbench and some other crafting things. So this is when it, you know, you get a little bit of a grind, but it actually makes it feel more rewarding. And I'm actually gonna stop recording because my computer's melting. All right, I'm back. I haven't done anything. Just had to let my uh, my laptop uh, cool down a bit. <laughs> Now eventually, uh, when I move out here, hopefully soon, I should be uh, getting a nice new tower set up, uh, so I'll be able to record much, much better. But for now, this is what I got to work with. It's a pretty nice laptop, but obviously it's all so compact and there's only so much you can do. Um, anyways, this is well where we'll set up camp for now. I think... Um, I think this will be a pretty good spot. We'll just have to explore and see what we got going on. Let's go back to here. So we got our flint axe, a hoe, which can be used for leveling and farming. So we'll do we'll do a little bit of that here. Just kind of get this area laid out. Alright, well what we need right now is a chest, you know, some storage, maybe just a little bit more shelter, and a bed, and we'll be pretty much good for the night, so I'll just go ahead and gather a little bit of wood here really quick. It's a little bit tedious because we got nothing, but we'll go ahead and eat some food, 
get a little bit of stamina, and I'll be right back. Alright, now that we got some more wood, uh, I'll make a bed, which is also going to need a roof. So I think what I'll do is I'll just put it like there, and then I'll just like extend this out a little bit. No big deal, just do that. Make it into a proper little shack here. Um, and I'll even like raise the uh, roof here. Go ahead and the corner. Uh, sometimes it's a little weird. Alright. Can even get a door. Almost bait. Oh, that's not a door. Get a door. And then just to block that off. There we go. It's better. Okay, that looks absolutely scuffed. <laughs> that looks terrible. Oh my god. What is that? It works. That's what it is. Now. Now we need more wood again. <laughs> yeah, I, that, that's a pretty good way to explain this game. You just you're trying to build, you're trying to do something. Oh, you need ten times the amount of wood you ever thought you needed for the simplest things. Oh my God, we're dead! Holy crap! I think I think we're fine. Now we got storage. Now we have a complete setup, and we're chilling. Um, except we still don't know how to use anything. Okay, there we go. So pretty much everything that we have will be useful. Um, the one other little complaint that I have is that, you know, pieces of armor and all that stuff is like still in your main inventory when it's equipped. There's no separate area for that, which definitely kind of sucks but man i guess i'll just end it off with uh cooking some meat so you just put it on there add some more fuel and you just wait it's a nice little relaxing process and you can actually cook like a whole bunch of stuff at once you know you can set up like even just one campfire you can put down like three or four cooking spits on one And you just wait for the noise. Oh, there it is. Tasty. So, this is our first piece of actual food. 40 health and 30 stamina. Now that's what we're talking about. And that's just cooked meat. I mean, we haven't even... We haven't even begun to go into the cooking. But I suppose that'll be all for this episode. Um, hope y'all are enjoying... Your evening, your day, your morning. I know it's been, you know, COVID again is, has been rough and just, you know, everyone just stick in there. You know, I think things will slowly get better, even if things have to get worse. I mean, that's kind of how our society is right now. Things got to get a little worse before they can get better. But other than that, though, I look forward to making more videos, more content, and just getting back into the groove of things. Hope y'all are having a wonderful day.